Okay, good evening, and we can start with this, um, this lecture that is actually an exercise, more, or actually two exercises, more than a lecture. So today we are going to try to better understand and to work on a special task, and hopefully, if there is time, also start doing something about storyboard that, again, are the next logical step for your project. And so as soon as assignment one is over, that is today, uh, end of the day, um, there will be assignment two that will be about task, storyboards, and uh, paper prototypes that will be the topic for next week. Um, so what's the goal? of today's exercise is to, well, first of all, reflect on task and try to speak about task, try to generate some tasks that are good tasks, and to recognize bad tasks. And also, again, if we have time, but probably we will have some, uh, start experimenting with storyboards. Um, so just, just a recap because we will need this definition as, as well to define whether a task is good or not. Uh, we said briefly that the task is a set of activities, a set of high level action required to achieve a user goal. So within a task, we should be able to recognize what is the ultimate goal that the task is fulfilling and then we have seen that you can split up the task in steps and then uh, that you can decompose the task in multiple steps with plans, with like something like the hierarchical task analysis, et cetera, et cetera. And as we, as we have exemplified yesterday and last week, we also said that the task is something that a person wants to do and not how to do that thing. So again, a set of activities, an idea that, of actions that show a specific complete goal and formulated in a way under a person perspective, a user perspective, that say what a person wants to do and not how to do that. And the how to do that we have seen are possibly the steps, the plan that accompany the, um, the task. And we also said that given a domain, you will probably have a mix of tasks of different complexity, ranging from the simple task to the complex task. And we also exemplify that a simple task could be something that is common that is introductory, that the majority of people will do in that domain, or that uh, it's the main activity, the, the thing for which you start to create an application, create a service, create a process, etc. And on the other side of the, uh, of this, so if we have one side simple task, on a totally opposite side, we have the complex task. And complex tasks are infrequent tasks, something that maybe just 1% of people doing an activity, using an application, etc., will do. Or, and notice the or, it's something for extreme user. It's something for power user. So people that will use that application in a very specific way or with a very specific set of feature or a very specific set in a, in a specific mindset or in a specific case. So not the vast majority of usage, that would probably be simple task, but just a restricted number of people in some special cases, etc. And in between, and this is difficult to, to give an exact uh, label, an exact um, size for that, uh, we have the moderate task. So something that is maybe not so common, not so introductory, but is not even so infrequent. So something that may happen, let's say, most of the time or a good number of time, 
or it's a common task, an introductory task, but with some constraint, hmm? like do this, but only under this uh, condition, only after if this happens. Hmm? So something that it could be quite common, but not so common, and something that is not infrequent, that happens just rarely or just happens for a specific part of the people that use the, um, uh, the service or the application or the system or works in a domain. Um, let's also think, or try to rethink why we are speaking about task, and not because we like task or we want to spend three hours speaking about task. So why are we speaking about task here? What's the purpose for us to speak about task? And I'm asking you, since we spoke two hours, I spoke two hours about task already, or more than two hours. So why are we interested in task? Thinking also about your project. Why are we interested in task? It's, as we said, it's a way to analyze and synthesize uh, what we discover, for instance, in, in need finding, but thinking about your project, for instance, why we could be interested of a task. Yes. Yes, we would like to accomplish a goal. That is a definition of why we're doing project, maybe, or why we are moving forward, but why task? How, what do you would imagine to use task for? It's a, it's a standard way to describe a process, well, maybe without standard. But yeah, it's, it could be a common way. It's one way to describe how to, to do a process, to, well, to do some bit of a process. It depends how many tasks you have. Yes. Other opinions. Well, clearly we're not doing two hours about tasks just for the sake of, oh, tasks are nice, let's speak about tasks we could find better things to, to speak of. Sorry, can say it again? So we know everything that we can do with the application? So we know everything that we can do with application or something that we can do application, maybe not everything, but yeah, it, it's a way that's probably the closest. So we said the task is for analyzing and synthesizing things we discover, but it's also a way to guide us. Right? That's a purpose of synthesis also. It's a way to guide us to the next step. So if we are able to identify a series of tasks that our project, our system, our application will do, we can build the application and the pages and the views and whatever is, is made of just to fulfill that task. So that we are sure that if we pick the three most important tasks that our application and the three most important goals as well that our application should fulfill, we should build the application using these three, five, whatever set of tasks. So that is guiding our application. So that is giving requirements for our application. So that is eliciting feature for our application. So that it's uh, providing context for the things we want to do. And clearly, from a task, we then need to understand which are the steps, which are the buttons, which are the processes, the specific processes to fulfill the task. But it's a way to start from the needs we're extracting, from the solution we're extracting, from the context we know that exists, from the knowledge we acquired or we have to move forward. So if we think about an application or system, probably, we can have a simple task that is the most common task, the thing that for sure the application should be 100% able to do and do it extremely well because it's simple task is probably the main task, right? It's the minimum viable thing that the application should be able to do, the reason why we have the application in the first place. And then we can also enable the application, the system, the project, to support moderate tasks and complex tasks to cover some specific aspects that maybe are tangent with respect to the main goal, with respect to the goals we have, um, but, but still could be important for some population, for some activities, etc. So it's a way to guide 
mm, as in the design process of the entire application to choose where to start and to choose what to prioritize. Mm. So it's a way to analyzing, it's a way of thinking about steps, both in the real world, so what we observe, for instance, what we get from the interview, but also as a way for planning. And we will meet task again when we will doing evaluation. Because when we are going to do evaluation, we are going to give your prototype to some people and we will need to tell these people in a sort of systematic way what to do with the application so that everybody will do the same task and we can understand if the task that they will do is done well or not well and which are the problems in the step to accomplish the task, etc. So we will make task now, we will ask you to define some task to get started, to give the direction, and then we will ask you again, starting from these three tasks, to further elaborate, to multiplicate this task so that people using your application can fulfill some specific task to evaluate how well is working, how usable it is your application. So it's many things start or can be used a task and also storyboard we said is all about task, is all about the story. So that's why we spend so much time on task. Uh, so let's exercise. So let's, um, uh, let's do this exercise together. So let's imagine that um, we have, so yesterday we received a call from the CEO of Uber and they are telling us, well, we receive a series of tasks and we don't know if they are good or not and we would like to understand if they work or not. So let's put it in this totally imaginary and unrealistic situation. Um, so we have a duty, hmm? so people from Uber is giving us a serious task and selling, uh, telling us, are they good or are they not good and why? Hmm? So let's do this exercise together and then let's try to generate some task after. So uh, all you, you all have some knowledge of who, what Uber is? Yes, no? What, was, what Uber is? Yeah, you have some knowledge, so the question is, what is Uber, clearly? So this knowledge seems thin, or? It's an application that is used uh, to get some rides, uh, to take all the rides, and uh, local destination. It's an application to get a ride some, in some places, and then now it's extended with uh, scooters and food and whatever, but the main, let's say, the, the, the starting point was book a ride and go somewhere, okay? So here we have three possible tasks. One categorized as simple, one categorized as moderate, and one categorized as complex. And these tasks are signaling for a ride, the one that is put with simple. Uh, the moderate reach out to the driver to get a forgotten object, and the complex is become a driver for Uber. And we have the same question for all of three. So let's start from the first one, simple task, signaling for a ride. First question, is it a task? According to you know, the definition we gave, a task is a set of activities, high level action required to achieve a goal under the user perspective and describing what you want to do and not how to do that with a specific system, with a specific process, etc. but what you want to do. Hmm? So, which is the, something for reaching a goal. So, signaling for a ride, is this a task or not? Who say yes? Who say no? Who abstain? Some people abstain, so they don't have an opinion. Uh, why is a task? Why you say this is a task? Why you recognize this as a task? Yes. Uh, doesn't say how. Good, one check. And then the other thing? Well, yes, we can divide in subtasks if you want, and 
what is the other characteristic let's say for for saying this is a task it doesn't say what to do how to do that but saying what to do so signaling for a ride and it has a goal that is calling a car actually get a ride right it's 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 the goal is just entire okay why is this is this simple it's a common task you probably install the uber because you want to signal for a ride so it's like 99 percent of the people who, who use uber at a certain point signaling for a ride good moderate uh, reach out to the driver to get a forgotten object is this a task who we'll say yes nobody who we'll say no Oh, interesting why this is not a task actually this is a task why this is not a task no it say how to do something who want to you reach out So you are in a car with a driver and just you and there are passengers and there are driver and there is one driver so you and you forgot an object in the car. Let's let's assume this. So we want to reach out the driver. Where the first where would I reach out to the driver? <coughs> that could be another moderate task, but it doesn't say right one thing doesn't exclude another this is one of the possible moderate tasks like the simple is one of the possible simple tasks right and the complex could be one of the, the many complex tasks these are three tasks that could be categorized that for uber so it could another moderate task it could be reached out to uber to get a forgotten or stolen object but this is another moderate task so why this is not a task to you because it has a driver in the in, in within so let's solve this that's not true i mean not true it's not uh, the reason so why you say just for this or there is something else you said that is not a task not me so why you said that just for the driver thing or there are other reasons it say how to do fi the thing no how can you reach out the driver it's not written there right you can do it in the application you can send an email you can send a message there is a button there is a chat we don't know right you can do it in multiple way it has a goal yes which is get a forgotten object so it seems sounds like a task why it's moderate Yeah, likely is not as common as um, calling for a ride. So it happens that people forgot an object in the car. It is not so infrequent that happens, but it's, it happens, not always. It's not once every decade, so sometimes happens. So it, it is moderate because it's something between not totally common, but it's ne neither totally uncommon right so it has a goal get a forgotten object back uh, it has a want to do reach out the driver hmm, to fulfill the goal and it's sort of not so common likely okay complex tasks become a driver for uber so complex tasks are those infrequent or for extreme power user um, so is this a task who say yes who say no and here there is always um, abstain um, so why okay is a task clearly why it's complex Well, it's, I agree, that is, there could be a complex process, 
but speaking about a complex process it would speak more about how to do that right so we imagine that it would be a complex process it's it reasonably could be but i let's find another way why this task can be a complex task so we said that complex tasks are infrequent or for power user how frequent is that a person uh, in the base of people who installed the uber app how frequent is that one of these become a driver it's surely complex you need to have some requirements and a license to drive for instance in a car etc and then there will be a complex process but how frequent is this to happen is more frequent or f as frequent as signaling for a ride? No. Is more as frequent as getting a forgotten object back? Probably not. So there is also this unfrequent um, part. And in this case, there is also, if you want, the power user, extreme user part. Because it's not something that you install the you are up, you are up for. Hmm? You don't install the app for becoming a driver. Typically, you, use, you install the app to use it for getting a ride somewhere. And then, yes, there is a complex, there could be a complex process in this case for sure as well. But this is again more about how to do that than not just the. So you could have a simple task that has a complex process, but maybe it's the application that um, just required that. So uh, let me do an example about this. Um, for an airplane, what could be a simple task for a pilot of an airplane? Yes. Checking that the, everything is ready to fly. So you have, do we have a goal? ready to fly to fly and you're doing some action that is checking if it's ready is complicated as a process it's a simple task it could be complicated as a process to you well yes right it's not that pilot get no training they got a lot of training before being able to fly so it's a complicated process but the task is simple because it's the normal task for pilot but they have a training behind them that allow them to do the complex process sort of easy for them because they're trained to. Hmm? So let's separate the complexity of the task for the complexity of the process. In many cases, a complex task is also a complex process, but this is not generally true for every population. If we think of highly skilled, highly trained people, then a simple task for them could be uh, extremely complex as a process, but not uh, as a task okay good now we are still in uber we are still missing two uh, tasks uh, open the app and tap of travel is this a task no who say yes okay uh, why is not a task we don't have the goal we can imagine a goal maybe but we don't have the goal and it says how, how to do that exactly and even more importantly it say how to do that on the current version of the uber application it's just just a serious step it just also it's it's worst it say how to do that in uh, the current uh, version of the of the app so why it's bad because it doesn't have a goal and say how hmm? so keep this in mind uh, because at a certain point you will have again to, to find task for evaluating your application and if your task will be click on these or open this menu that's the same thing as open the app and tap on travel okay so bad task to avoid the other one uh, go into your account setting check the message and then send the present is this a task who say yes who say no? Why is not a task, or, and then why it's bad in this sense? That there is the steps. For sure, here, sort of there are goals, maybe multiple goals, but there are goals, right? Because checking the message could be a goal. Checking communication, sending a present could be 
another goal. But there are multiple goals here, so it's not good for that. And there is step-by-step -step instruction. So go into account setting, and then there is messages, and you can click on it. And then there is actually the sentence, send a present. That is exactly the same word that you have in the application. That is something else that you want to avoid in creating tasks. Even if you want to give instruction, sort of instruction, on what you want to do, don't use the same phrasing than in the, that it's available in the application. Just find synonyms, because you, are not, you don't want to, to guide too much, especially, again, in the evaluation phase that we will see uh, further. Here, there is this problem. Send the present is actually, if you open the Uber app in English, send the present is actually a menu item. It's called exactly send a present. So uh, another example of a bad task you can think for Uber. So try to generate a bad task so that Select this uh, driver and uh, press uh, no. this driver. Select this driver and press and and confirm it or yes, whatever. Yes, it's it has no goal because what is the goal? Um and it's probably step by step as well. Okay. Everything is clear up to here. Okay, now let's change topic. <coughs> uh, let's redo it again, but you do it now. Um, because with me, it's, it's easier and with goal written and task written on the screen, it's easier actually. So change topic. We just considering, so we have sent home the CEO of Uber and now we get in the Glovo, just eat, uh, what, deliver or whatever, pick one, doesn't matter. Um, CEO and comes here and, and asks you for generating three tasks for their service application. And they are asking you a simple task, a moderate task, and a complex task for the food delivery service. Hmm? Could be specific application, but doesn't matter because we don't want the step-by-step -step thing, but we want just the general, uh, let's say, task, right, about full delivery. So, Glovo, Just Eat, um, Deliveroo, whatever exists, Uber for the food part, uh, as a service, mm, food delivery. So, the exercise is, let's spend, you spend, let's say 15 minutes, also in group, is fine to write at least one simple task, one moderate task, and one complex task for this specific application, and then we can discuss it together if it's simple, if it's not simple, why, if it's a task uh, or not. Okay? So, 15 minutes from now, I will stop the recording just for. Good, simple task. What can be one simple task for this set of application? Order products. Sorry? Order products for order products. Order products. I didn't get to the last part, sorry. Products. Order products. Add, uh, add products to the order products. That's a little bit general, like a simple task. I mean, it could be also Amazon order products, right? So something a little bit more specific. It's sort of okay. So, and it's sort of missing the goal. What's the goal? The action is order product, and the goal is order product. So it's, and then it's a little bit generic. So something maybe a little bit better? It's, it's simple as a level of task. Order food to be delivered. That would be the main goal, right, of the application. Or order food from restaurants at home, right, to be bring at home. Okay, other simple task that came to your mind? That clearly order food is the, in whatever form you put it, is clearly the, the easiest one, right, because it's the main goal of the application.
that is not really well uh, accept an order request it could be a simple task well it could be a task it could be simple for a rider um, so if we think about <laughs> this kind of application from the general population that's no right because it's not a lot of people that do the rider if you think about only only about the rider perspective then it could be a simple task so it depends who you are targeting for if you think a general population so again as uber before if you think as the people who get uber then this is not this is could be a task but it's not a simple task because it's not the target population for global or the state or whatever To the what? What's the goal of edit personal information? It's more like, yeah, it's more like, you know, it's more closer to a step, like edit personal information, than it's a sub, a sub task or something, probably. So, what's the goal you want to do by editing personal information? Maybe it's changing the address or changing the payment method, but it's a, bit, a little bit higher um, goal than this is more the immediate action you want to do. To do what? to something. So they change the, the, I don't know, they change the delivery option. It could be changed, so a task could be um, updated the delivery address. And then how you update, it doesn't matter. So if it's editing the profile or something else, is, is a step, like it's more a specification of the task. That could be, well, it could be sim I don't know if it could be simple, simple as a task, like in the sense of, a very common task. You typically set up your delivery address and you don't change it frequently. Maybe that could be more a moderate task, something that right, happens less frequently. Uh, the, the, the driver, the, the, the guy that give, brings food home, you mean? Yeah, yeah evaluate the, the restaurant and the... Yeah, that could be a simple task. Another one, and then we move from the to the what? Also evaluate partially. The goal is missing. But pay for the food is yes, for the sake of paying clearly, for the sake of getting the food is a little bit too level in that sense, right? So think about signaling the ride. Think about order the food. That are more general, right? As as thing to do than paying for the, the drive. Uh, but yeah, this could be sort of a um, simple task. Maybe the goal is slightly missing there, but it's closer to a simple task. Also checking uh, the, the order status uh, could be uh, something closer to a simple task. Okay, let's move to the moderate then. We said one is, could be moderate, but let's say another moderate task. Communicate with support to delay. communicate with support after a delay, but due to a delay, that could be a moderate task. Yeah. Get a refund due to something. It's moderate or complex. Well, it depends how frequent it is. Well, it's frequent. Actually, probably, yeah, could be a moderate. Other, another moderate task, and then we move to the complex. <laughs> Inform the restaurant because there is a problem in the, in the order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, complex task. become an affiliate restaurant, to become a, um, a courier, that could be complex. These are also, you know, some, let's think, um, so one thing that sometimes happen, and then when you think about complex task, you think about a different target population. That is a complex task, right? So instead of, of thinking of the <coughs> typical user of the application, the, when people are asked for a complex task, like in the Uber case, or in this case, you pick the other 
people involved like the restaurants the driver etc let's think about an infrequent task that also it's fine that is a complex task but let's also think about a um, infrequent activity that normal let's say typical user of this application do is missing the goal right make a registration That's still the um, affiliate restaurant. <laughs> it's missing the goal, right? I read the term of service. Same, it's missing the goal, right? To do what? Well, to close the service, but it is a, it's, quite, it's quite specific as a, as a goal. As a task, yes, it's, it's going to be sort of complex, more than a read the term of service clearly um, yeah delete account could be sort of complex task I would, say, I would say that we can classify that in complex because yes the goal is not explicit but clearly if you want to delete your account is is pretty evident which is the goal um, something else that be complex or moderate if you want I, I imagine one moderate or complex task, for instance, Modify. without modifying nothing. <laughs> think about, well, think about the, the ordering process or like find um, a close Italian restaurant with high reviews to, to have food quick at home. That is between moderate and complex because it has a lot of condition. Like it should be close, it should be Italian, it should be high rated, and should be quick in giving back, give, in bringing my food home. So it has a lot of conditions. So it could be between moderate and complex. It depends. Well, one should know very well the, the context of Glovo and just eat and this delivery service to say if it's more complex or more moderate. But it will be surely between these two. Okay. Any other task that you want to check? To see if there are tasks or not that you thought about. So if we are in a subscription, like okay, apply to a premium account. What's the goal? The goal is to get the, the attack Yeah. Yeah, it should be written probably. It could be a task which should be written probably in a way that the goal is more. Uh, it could be a, a subtask, right? So if you are going to do some task for evaluating the Glove application or the Just Eat application, that could be one uh, subtask or uh, the, the, the moderate task. For instance, let's say uh, upgrade to the premium level or um, remove the upgrades or quit the, the subscription system could be, um, or check how much it costs. There could be some task, right? Some task for, for that. But we are here at this level, like big, a little bit higher level activities and tasks like order food from a restaurant or uh, became um, a courier or something like that, okay? Good, next exercise. We still have half an hour, so more than needed. So. This is our task. Now, next step, the storyboard. So the exercise is, well, not to do the entire storyboard because it's not, there is not enough time, but start thinking, start crafting, crafting a storyboard, representing a story that show at least one of the good tasks that we discussed so far. So it could be the Uber good task, it could be the task you came out now for Glovo, Etc. So at least one, like ordering food, just build a storyboard out of ordering food, or signal and drive, build a storyboard out of that. So what you need to do, just to remember, you need to define the context, the actor and the problem or the need that they have, like for ordering food and using Lobo, what's the problem, who is the actor, what is the context, hmm? and how Glovo, Uber, whatever, help solving or satisfying the problem and the needs. So to get started, write a scene-by-scene -scene list of the stories, like first, we have 
uh, at Politecnico and it's uh, 6.30 p.m. and the professor is not stopping to talk and we are still here and we are angry. And then this happened. There is a problem. And then this other happened and in the end I will be home happily and eating some Indian food, whatever, in 10 minutes. So there is a problem, there is a context, there are actors and there is a story going on and there is, as, as we said, an happy, an happy ending in the end. So, well, and then make simple sketches of a scene, but I don't think that we have enough time. But let's say that in like 10 minutes, um, start to think about one or more than one. It would be challenging, it would be interesting to pick more, like one simple, one moderate, and the complex task, or just the simple and the complex, or the simple and the moderate, so some combination of these tasks, at least one, but two is, is better because it's more challenging, and mean one story that start from once upon a time in this context um, this is the problem this is what our application solve and this is how it ends so just write this one sentence for each hypothetical sketch you're going to do and you think to do and um, and then we can you can you can share it and if you have time you can also sketch it but just start with the uh, writing hmm? so that we can see if all the context is in place all the actors are in place and if there is the problem there and if there is the solution and the let's say happy ending other 10 minutes let's work on what we have okay so Tell me some story that can become a storyboard when you have time to sketch it. At least a couple. Yes. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm not listening. Be quiet. So an office worker is working late. Yeah, I imagine, yeah, on the food part. Okay, so in the short story is there is an office worker working, I'm repeating also for the registration, um, working late and he needs food before, well, it needs food as soon as he's home, right? And then he's get the phone and open this imaginary app and order, so, do something on it and after, let's say, a while, he go back home and um, after a few minutes, uh, the, the, bill ra the bell rang and there is food home and the person is happy. That is? Um, okay. Um, you can improve it with uh, specifying what is working late, right? Because working late is like 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 9 p.m., 11 p.m. with working late, right? 7 p.m. So there is a specific context and this person is in the office, I imagine, okay? Um, and, and he's a little bit missing the problem. So what's the problem? Okay. And that is challenging to, 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 write, to draw uh, having dinner at a normal time, right? How you can draw, I need to have dinner at a normal time? It's hard, right? Yeah, but the normal time is, yeah, like, how can you show the problem, right? That is, so it could be, um, like, you know, if you remember in the slides we had, oh, I forgot to, I don't have anything at home, or I forgot to do grocery shopping. So probably um, a problem like that is easier to, uh, 
to show up than not. Um, it's late and I wanted to have eaten already, but otherwise it's good. Another story, at least one more. Go. Sunday in the morning, it has to. Mm. It's Sunday evening. <laughs> Sunday evening. And after a great Sunday night out, it's late. It's late, uh, defined late, as, as I said before. Late. It's 1 a.m. So it's, it's Monday already. <laughs> yes? <laughs> okay, so it's 1 a.m. Monday. Yes? Yes. Uh, so uh, he gets to the town stop, but he misses the last one. Uh, okay. It's missed the last bus uh, because it's too late and there is no public service at the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then takes the right and arrives at home. At home, uh, at one, uh, 50. 50. Okay. Um, so we yes, we said about the, the time. You said one one a.m. and Sunday, not Saturday. We already said. Um, probably in this case. So if you if you need to draw it, so one suggestion could be. Uh, maybe just focus on the public transport or the taxi because otherwise you are going to show oh there is no public transport and then there is no taxi and then it's of like five <laughs> sketches just to say there is a problem so maybe just tell one story like okay i want to get a public transportation but i arrived at the bus stop and it's written out of, the next bus will be at 6 6 a.m so something easy to to see in a sketch and clearly you cannot wait five hours there. And so you get the app and get the phone, get the app and, and book a ride home in whatever time. Good. Okay, so these are good idea with these things in mind. Like context, setting, well, the context, the actor, you choose one single actor, but you can have also multiple actors, right? So uh, I need to go home and have dinner with friends. And I'm late, and so it's not just ordering for me, it's ordering for 10 people. So maybe I don't even go grocery shopping because I will need time for cook for 10 people, right? So it's, uh, it could be a party, so it could be multiple actors, or sharing uh, a ride to go home because one person is drunk and I, I don't have a car, and maybe I will uh, take an Uber, or something like that. And the context, the actor, and the problems, that's fine, just not have multiple of them and then after you do, the, do this you can sketch the storyboard right draw the storyboard with the techniques we we have seen uh, in the class good so this close the exercise but before leaving I just want to preview and this will be out this week but just want to preview the assignment 2 that will be due November 21 so a little bit less than one month should be enough time and clearly the first, and we will see the, the other part later because we will be going to do it on Monday next week. But the first task, the first thing you have to do incredibly is first define three tasks. One simple, one moderate and one complex about your project idea. That's why we're, we did this exercise today because you need to do that. And second, the, create a storyboard that include so that depicts at least two of the task. So now you probably work with one simple task, but in that case, you have to include in the storyboard, in the single story of the storyboard, two of the tasks. So it could be a simple and the moderate, a simple and the complex, the moderate and the complex, any combination of that work, but at least two. So when you generate a task, think that you also have to include it in a storyboard, and it should be a traditional storyboard. So the one in with pen and paper or it could be done digitally on an iPad but end drawn or whatever it is right an iPad or a tablet but end drawn so not using predefined 
um, pictures, etc., and drawn black and white. Okay, and this will be um, the first thing that assignment two will ask you. And then there is the low fidelity prototype, but that we can have a deeper look on that um, on uh, after speaking about the low fidelity prototype. And clearly, the low fidelity prototype should be linked and should implement in a way the task you define and the storyboard you describe and clearly the task stem from the solution you will get hopefully a positive confirmation tomorrow so that you can you can start okay so this is due november 21 together with the part that is not shown here as i said i think yesterday oh, to some of you at least um, Tomorrow we will go do the feedback in Sala Colloqui, fourth floor, on top of the Secretarian office in Corso Castelfidardo. Then next Wednesday is holiday, so there is no uh, lab on the 1st of November. And so this assignment will actually start in the lab hours on November 8. But we will publish before, so that if you want to start it before, you can. If you want to have an extra week or some days more, you can also do that. Okay? Yes. Sorry, but we have to create one storyboard for two tasks. Yes. Or one storyboard mm. for each task. One storyboard that includes, that describes two tasks. So just one storyboard. Okay? So the storyboard that represents two tasks in the story. Okay? Have a nice night and see you tomorrow. Um, in the feedback session.